Welcome to Tales from the Caveside, where Lillian and Chris, we bought a cave house and finca on the outskirts of a small Spanish town. Follow us as we learn to renovate and create a home that we will be proud of. Okay, it's the next morning. We've waited till the sun's come up and any potential condensation, uh, damp, dew, that's the fella, that could potentially be on the paint will have gone now. We've been burnt off. So we had poured the paint, I'd done it onto the lifty handle, which is fine, but it peeled off and that's great. But this is stretchy. Awesome. Yeah. Better pick that up otherwise the Loki will eat it. Uh, so that's brilliant. Now the reason why we're using this, this stuff is only because of the cracks, the movement cracks and it's just extra strength. The manufacturer says on their website and everything, you don't need to use it. Mm -hmm. um, Builders Merchant says you don't need to use it, but it's a good idea since it's got the cracks. Yep. So that's the reason why we're using it. So we're just using it on the flat where the cracks are. So um, after a little bit more research and a bit of feedback from other people on various websites that are using the not necessarily the same brand, but the same product. You do it watered down for putting this one down. Otherwise it's too thick for it to get right down. Uh, Cause it can cause like a, a layer between the, the layers and that's not what you want. You want it to adhere to the other thing. So that's good. So we'll use this mm -hmm. again. And then tomorrow it gets its final coat of pure. Yes. Not watered down. And that's it. Yeah. And that's, that's brilliant. And then later on, we'll get the perimeter cleaned off. But this is a priority. We're due rain sometime this year. <laughs> so if we get that done, that's great. And then eventually we'll get that white done off the back wall where we mm -hmm. know it's a problem. All around the rest of it is fine. It just needs cleaning off and then re redoing. Yep. And then that's all done. Mega. But once this is done, We'll get in there and get that kitchen started. Yes. All right, we're up here. I just walked, so I'm leaving dust prints everywhere. Oh dear. Oh dear. Sure it'll be fine? Sure it will. So, what we intend to do is get this like rolled out and cut to the correct size. And then get it put down. Right. Okay, so we started laying the carpet. Unfortunately, it's not a red carpet. It will be eventually once it's It will be, it will be. So, uh, we're going to get this cut at this point, obviously, because there's tubes in the way. And then continue until we get to the end. Yes. Now, I've just spotted a slight flaw in our plan. What's that? It's a cut, nice cut edge here. Okay, we better to have a fibrous edge and put the cut edge against that yeah, edge there. Yeah, and the fibrous edge for joining to the next one. Okay. Oh no, who rolled that up the wrong way at the manufacturers? <laughs> Didn't they know what we wanted to do? Obviously not. No, obviously not. Right, I know, I've had an idea. If we turn, flip it over now, and then we can carry on, can't we? You think? Oh, okay. Does that um, work? Yeah, I'm with you. Okay, right, I'll put this, this infernal machine down. That's la that laid. You've done your cutting out? I have. So I've cut around that tube. I don't quite know what we're going to do because there's a raised bit um, underneath. It's got like a platform it's sitting on. This bit is, yeah. is raised. I don't know how it's going to go with the paint. I don't know whether I might have to cut it at the time. We're just going to see how it goes. Yes. Because I don't know if this stuff gets a bit more movey. It's actually quite, quite breakable. Yes, it's so fiberglass it, mesh. Yeah, so it, it may stretch, it may not. I don't know. We're going to see. Yes, see anybody who does fiberglass in will know exactly what it'll do before we'll know. Yes, exactly. And here I've cut it so that it goes down into there. Yeah. Carpet is laid. Yes. Done the cuts as necessary. We now will take these up and remember which order they're in. Put the paint down and put the back down again. Yes. Yeah. Sounds really easy, doesn't it? I think that's the most difficult part done, to be honest. Yeah. <clears throat> the, the cutting. I know it shouldn't be done in this order, but we because of the silly shape and the limited 
amount of space, we've done it in advance. Uh, it might bite us on the bum. It I might. Doubt it. I doubt it. Yeah. Right. So, this one goes down last. Yes. Then that one. Yeah, then you. this one. And that one first. Yeah, you're in the shadows. So, we've got a whole piece for that piece. We've got a whole piece for this piece. And then the piece that was cut out for that triangle over there fitted in here. And then there's a separate piece here. So, we've only got four bits to lay. Oh. <sighs> Poof. It's easy. We've just been inspected, haven't we? We have one of our neighbours. has just been along and said, What are you doing? What are you doing? How are you doing it? What products are you using? And we basically got the, the, the seal of approval. We're doing it right. Yes. <laughs> so what I've done is I've put a, a thick layer down with the paint and now we're laying it out and we're doing it again. Well, as with everything, if you've never done it before, it's really, really difficult. In theory, it's easy, especially when you watch other people do it. But we have got our heads around this now. Uh, we normally are quite happy to film our failures, but we... Uh, if this one had gone, it would have been quite an expensive failure and we didn't want all the, uh, the possible new, new words that people may have not even realised exist. <laughs> and none of them polite. <laughs> so, it's doing well. It is. We did struggle around that circular thing, which we knew we would. We're going to come back now with a paintbrush and, and dab it down. Dab it down. Yep. The rest of it's all going down really well. Yes, we actually discovered that if you put a layer down first of paint and then put the mat down, it's not too bad, you know, if it's right. But if we just put a lot more paint on and then rub it in, it actually works better. Yes. And we did try it and then lifted it up and it was absolutely covered in paint underneath anyway. So that's, that's uh, better for us. Maybe a little bit less time consuming. So, this mat, as we said, is not for waterproof, it's for strength. Hopefully, no more cracks will appear. And then this will work. This is going really well. Yes. It for is. a pair of old codgers that didn't have a clue, I'm actually quite pleased with this. Yeah. Sussed out how, how best to do it. Yep. In certain areas it needs a brush, other areas it needs a roller. Yes, I, I was don't able to need a roller, should I say. It's quicker with a roller. <laughs> yeah, when <laughs> I went same effect. Where we've got this ridge here, this rounded. Um I went down with a brush and I was able to push the fibres in and they all changed position and they've made a really nice cap there. So yeah, really happy with this. We have to make some more of this watery stuff though, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, but only about an eighth of what we made last time. Not even, I don't think. We've nearly got enough left in there to do this, but not quite. So there's only really this bit to do. Yes, there's all of this piece left to do. And then there's the piece for here, which is actually made up of two pieces. We haven't got enough in that bucket for these two bits, I don't think. No. Well, I do think, I do know rather. There! Yeah. Brain. It's sunny, it's hot, and it's November, so it's broken me. Yeah. <laughs> We're both in t shirt and shorts and like <laughs> sweating. I know, it's I'm hot. T shirt, I'm thinking I'll wear this one because it's not as, you know, it's a bit thicker than the normal ones. That's too hot. Yeah. Madness, isn't it? This is not exactly strenuous work. No. I'm feeling a bit dizzy. It's my lot in life to hang over the edge of things, isn't it? Yes. So to do the last little ridge over there that goes up and onto the wall, I was hanging over the wall and doing it, standing on the other side. <sighs> but it's done. It's yes. Done. Looking really good. It looks like a carpet. It does look like a carpet, doesn't it? Yes. So, right, we've got to leave this now, 24 hours. Yes. Or thereabouts. And then uh, guess its final coat. Yeah, I've just got a little bit left on my brush, so I'm just going across these edges, make sure they're down. Down, down. Down, down. Deeper and down. Song there. Song there. Hmm. <laughs> Beat me to it. Yes, yeah, right. I'll get tidied up while you just empty your paintbrush. Okay. 
just come into the big city. Well, for us, Elche. It is mental. It's absolutely mental. Um, Lillian's just gone to sign their contract for working for the school. And it's in the middle of all this. All this built upness. Oh. All the streets around are one way and everybody knows where they're going. And it's like, I don't know, it's like wacky races. It's very stressful. It's very, very stressful driving in a town in a big city like this. Uh, yeah. It's crazy. And then uh, the Google Maps thing decided it wanted to send us down a different route and we'd already had the route planned in our heads and we just needed Google Maps as a backup and we thought, oh no, we've taken the wrong turning. We hadn't, but it just went, oh no, I'd like you to go this way instead. Look, have a drive around, get used to it. No. Anyway, I'll wait for Lillian to come back and I'll show you a little bit of driving around Elche. But we might turn the sound off. <laughs> Turn right onto Cara Mariano Luina, then turn right onto Cara Vicente Blasco Ribanez. Take the next right onto Cara Vicente Blasco Ribanez.
show you the bends, but I'm also trying to show you the view because there's a view down to the reservoir over there. Now you can't see it, the water's too low. Mm. It's one of those ones when you're driving an automatic like this is, it can't decide which gear you want to be in when you're, when you're taking it steady on these little bends. Because they seem to be sort of like midway, which is where a lot of, which is where a manual would be better. in an open top styly sports car as well wouldn't it? It would, it would be fun. Yeah. I've done it in an old van when I used to work for a company locally delivering sofas and things. It's quite hard work up and down gears and there's a rat rattle and bang old van. <laughs> <coughs> yes, I can imagine it is. Oh, there's a house right up there. We'll have that one. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't want this one, it's too close to the road. Don't want that one. I'll take that one right up the top of the peak of the hill. There's a tattooist that's up there. There's mm -hmm. up there, isn't there? No, you passed it. Oh, I passed it. I thought yeah. that was that one. No. And that's the cafe everybody goes to on the bike. On the weekend, apparently, that is absolutely chock a block full of bikers. Some friends who live just here. Hi, Mark and Lorna. <laughs> I live in that area there. Oops. You were looking at the house and not at the road. <laughs> I was. That was my mistake. Take your eyes off the road. Concentrate on what you're doing. Yes. Sorry about that. <laughs> Exciting. We'll have that roof done today. Yes, we will. And then we need to get um, the other paint. Yes. And clear the walls off. We'll do that later. Yep. Not today. Uh, that'll be next week now, I think. Mm -hmm. Get that done. But priority is get this roof done. And that's it. Draw a line. Draw a line under that roof. Yes, indeed. Well, this stuff has taken really, really well. Really happy with it. Yes. So it's now going to have its final coat. This area over here, this separate building, we can't walk on this. We're not happy walking on this. But um, we'll come back to this. We're not sure how much paint we've got. We have to finish this. And then, if necessary, we'll buy more to do that or do it in a different colour we're going to do the walls with or whatever that's a different problem yeah <coughs> that one doesn't leak no exactly we just obviously just wanted it to match yeah so uh yeah we'll get this done it's last coat step away from that yes and then we can come back to that in a few days time once this has gone off properly yes agreed yeah okay And watered down, this is really thick. <laughs> yes, it is. But last coat going on. Yes, indeed. It's a good job it's lighter when it goes on, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> it gets darker, at least you can see where you've been then.
just turned into a really warm day again crazy crackers weather not complaining glad I'm not out here in three jumpers but the paint's going down really well we're not sure as to whether we're going to put a third coat on purely for looks just because you can still see the matting through that paint it does I don't think it needs it for actually doing its job two coats is what the instructions say but we'll make a decision we'll have a look later we definitely aren't going to have it for looks because there's no way we can use this as a terrace you can see how small this little wall is and it's a heck of a drop down there and it's exactly the same on the other side that way um i think to be fair if you fell off there or there you'd break your neck if you fell over here there's more of a wall it's a harder thing to fall over but you'd break an arm so unfortunately it's not something that can be used as a terrace no no we can't use it as a terrace and um, as we've said previously we're not allowed to do construction so if we was to put a safety rail up it would be illegal yeah and we'll have to take it down and pay a fine so yeah this is just unfortunately dead space a lady's just driven by and she said uh, this palm tree over here can we please cut the branches? This overhanging one is hitting cars. Can I cut it off, please? So I'm going to find some cutters and cut it off. Okay, did it. Took about four great big palm leaves off. If anybody hits that with their car now, then they're going to hit the wall first. So having been on my foray to cut palm, palm leaves, Okay, I uh, come back to see how Chris is getting on and look at that. Really happy with that coverage. Really happy with that finish. That is it. We are done once you finish that. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Really happy. We have a roof. <laughs> I now actually wanted to rain. Not yet. Give it 24 hours. Just to test it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, maybe a little bit more than 25. Just okay. in case, we've okay. been on a little bit thicker than what you would normally put a paint on But yeah. Okay, uh, it's going to be 36 hours and we want rain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not bringing a nose pipe up here and chucking water down for the sake of it. No. Thanks for watching Tales from the Caveside. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Drop us a like and leave us a comment. See you on the next one.